there everybody, my name is Chris Chadlong, the Royal Bob Built Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News update from Chessington World of Adventures Resort. This is on some closed season updates uh, that we've picked up on, as well as talking about what's happening with the Black Buccaneer, we know what's happening now. So, please like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss a YouTube video. Please share around with your friends, family and on social media. We're past the 1,400 mark now, so we're getting close to 1,500 subscribers, which means the next Q&A is right around the corner. So if you've got any questions, comment them down below using hashtag question before or after you've answered your question. Let's get into this video then. So, I'm going to put an image on your screen now. Fanabidozi, that my friends is Black Buccaneer with a question mark. <laughs> For those of you who don't know exactly what's going on. And I'm going to talk more about that uh, in a little bit. Uh, but Chessington Buzz on Instagram, big shout out to you. Uh, it was at the park on Saturday. Um, and he's pr and he's basically put on Instagram some key updates uh, from his trip to Chessington along with uh, pictures. So if you go to Chessington Buzz on Instagram, all lowercase letters, Chessington Buzz, one word, um, and yeah, you'll see like 10 images, one for each update. So uh, basically, this is what's been going on since Saturday at Chessington World Adventures. So Vampire's lift chain is currently being replaced, so just general maintenance being done to the Vampire roller coaster. Elmer's flying jumbo is looking vibrant and colourful with new gravel underneath the ride. Uh, so that's a, that's one particular big thing to pick up there because of course uh, Almost Flying Jumbos is um, the uh, one of the new rides uh, at the at the park for for 2020. Um, so that area is starting to look nice and bright. Uh, the colours on the ground starting to look good. Uh, the hot cabin for the ride that's uh, that's in as well. Uh, and the structure work for the actual jumbos without the cars, that's all up as well. Uh, next up then, nothing new happening around Black Buccaneer and there's not much seen towards the rainforest area. However, we do know about the rainforest area and I'll talk about Black Buccaneer in a little bit. Sea Storm is currently having work done, should hopefully be ready for the February half term. So currently with that, uh, there's just like a blue like scaffold sheet uh, just over the, the middle uh, set the center of the ride's operating system, but all the boats are out and it just needs a little tidying up here and there around the area just to make it look uh, fully operational. It should be ready by February half term. Tiny Trucker's roof is undergoing work with scaffolding around the entrance and queue line building. Now that was an interesting one coming across that and I expect that's just general maintenance though, nothing too specific to talk about that. Uh, and then finally uh, the bush dogs running around the old Samaritan Tiger enclosure in Trail of the Kings. So that was a nice surprise. Now other stuff to pick up as well. Um, we can see some stuff around treetop uh, from Tony's Crazy Cars. We can see the entrance blocked off um, with some like fencing. So that will be work going on around there. As I said nothing really happening around Black Buccaneer but I'll explain more about that later. And uh, yeah, that's in terms of what we picked up from the key construction updates uh, from that post. Again, big shout out to Chessington Buzz. Uh, all the information was from their uh, trip. Uh, now, one massive thing about Chessington World Events is, is, of course, Black Buccaneer. Now, Black Buccaneer uh, is a pirate ship. It was SBNO for the 2019 season. We didn't know what the future was. It was up for sale, then it wasn't. Then it was up for sale again. And we didn't know exactly what the future was. However... According to their social media, Ahoy mateys, haven't you heard? Last season Black Buccaneer set sail and now there's a new ship on the horizon. But there's a mutiny on board and pirates need your help. Head over to Facebook to find out why. And I head over there. You can't submit anything now because the competition's over. Uh, but they have confirmed that they're going to be renaming Black Buccaneer and they need your help to, put, to rename the ride. The competition closed, I believe, 31st of January, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but I've already put my name suggestion in. It probably won't get chosen, but if it does, then I'll be surprised. I, uh, I'm not going to say what I suggested, because I want to see if it happens or not. But, uh, yeah, basically, you win, like, if you sort of submitted a name, you win, like, some kind of package, which means you could get 
uh, I believe one of the prizes is a year round fast track for Black Buccaneer so uh, for the actual ride itself the old Black Buccaneer so uh, we believe this is going to be a brand new ride system uh, like a brand new version of the pirate ship so the original versions are hopefully going to be either in storage or for the new one or maybe it could be um, possible spare parts for the blade uh, if that's going to come back we've seen the actual structure for the blade uh, in a car park near the site of Alton Towers so with three weeks to go until the February half term kicks in and things like that you know do we you know are we, are we sort of seeing a possibility that the blade could return uh, my opinion no uh, I think they should have got it started getting it up by now but uh, I do think that they could do a similar thing next season and have the blade not open throughout the rest of the uh, for the 2020 season and then have a new pirate ship system up for 2021. So I think if the new system at Chessington works, I think that's what they're going to do with the blade at Alton Towers, in my personal opinion. It could still be rest in peace, the blade. Um, and we could see a brand new pirate ship or even a brand new attraction in itself on that site. Um, but again, we'll have to see what happens with that one over at Alton Towers. But back to Chessington. So we know that a new pirate ship ride system is coming into Chessington uh, to replace the old Black Buccaneer one. Kind of like Enterprise at Alton Towers. You sort of had the uh, original ride system from 1986, but it's sort of been replaced with a newer system in 2013. Uh, this was around the time when Smile was being constructed and there was all the rumours that Submission and Enterprise were going to be removed. Uh, and of course it was confirmed, then it wasn't confirmed, and then Submission obviously uh, was confirmed to be removed. Enterprise was getting like a replacement ride system just to modernise it and, main and sort of less maintenance issues etc. So uh, I, I'm lo we're looking at one of those things I think. We're looking at just a, an updated ride system. So at least we've still got a pirate ship at the park. The pirate ships are becoming quite um, a forgotten species of ride. So I'd like to see more pirate ships. Uh, looping pirate ships or staff staff ships as people call them uh, for the looping ones but these kind of traditional classic attractions are really important for the theme parks so it's nice to see Black Buccaneer getting like an updated ride system and staying at the park but under a new name so should be interesting to see what the new name is going to be but thank you very much for watching this theme park news update on the Chessington closed update uh, and obviously the stuff about Black Buccaneer obviously the next update from Chessington will probably be the announcement of the brand new name and what story they've gone for the ride etc and what else is going to be announced about the new uh, ride system so that's all going to come really really well thank you very much my name is Coast Chow make sure you like, comment, subscribe and click the okay spell see you in YouTube video please share with, around with your friends, family and on social media and also make sure you get your questions in with hashtag question uh, before or after you put your questions so I know it's for the Q&A we're round the corner from 1500 subs we're nearly there so let's get it up to there my name is Coast Chow, cute on the Coast Life and I'll see you guys in the next video very very soon take care guys, have an awesome day